All right, guys, YouTubers. Um, I wanted to do a video on how to clean a boat tank um, in case you have a problem I have, which is basically dirty fuel, which if it consistently comes in, there's a very good chance that your tank's dirty at the bottom underneath the pickup. And what that means is once you're offshore and it's sloshing around for five hours when you're trolling, that's only the time you're getting all this water and crap bucket into your, uh, into your engine. So you need to get it out from the very bottom of the tank. Well, the only way to do that is to make your own pickup a long one and uh, push it down into the tank itself to the bottom and suck the shit out. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I got here is a little fuel transfer pump. I'm not getting paid to sell these. Um, they're made in China somewhere. This one is uh, by Gasket, Mr. Gasket Co. See right there, 12 volt. I went to the local AutoZone, picked it up. It was like $49, and it'll safely transfer gasoline, okay? All of this is at your own risk. This is all jerry-rigged. Um, I'm not taking any responsibility. You're all adults, so. If anything goes wrong, realize that you're transferring gasoline. Obviously, you want to uh, make sure that your vapors are way, way down, and you don't have a problem with uh, you know, sparks going off. When you set that pump up, set it up permanently so it can't spark. And make sure your hoses are all hooked up correctly. All right, so next thing you need to do is go to uh, your local Home Depot. And I'm losing the light here, so I gotta speed up. Get a little snap kit like this. Get yourself a piece of copper piping. I don't know if you can see that, all right. They're like seven bucks. It's like a five foot long piece, half inch. This is what you're gonna to shove to the bottom of the tank. This is gonna be your new pickup and allow you to get that crud at the bottom. So I'm gonna set this here. All right. Your snap connector, real simple. If any of you ever done any home plumbing, you just basically put it in the pipe and jam it in and it locks. All right, so that's set. It's not gonna go anywhere and it's a good seal. The next thing I've done, same thing at Home Depot, get a half inch hose adapter or whatever size fuel pipe you have, screw that puppy in there. All right, so now you made a good seal. What you're then going to do is take your fuel hose, okay, connect it to your pipe. Like I said, it's pretty much good there. I'm not even gonna bother with a C-clamp considering it's a low pressure application. Take your pump, connect it there. This one's a little loose, so I'm gonna C-clamp that down. And what am I gonna do? The other side, fuel hose. Okay, and that's gonna go into the gas tanks and I'm dumping the gas into. All right, obviously you gotta comply with local laws. So if you see now, I've got a seal connection I've got a brand new pickup pipe, okay? I'm gonna shove this to the very back of the tank through the sender opening. So what you're gonna do, come over here and look at my tank. You see I got problems, water coming in and sitting on the top of the tank. But if you can see right here, that's my fuel sender. And I'm gonna, I've already uh, sealed that, but I'm gonna remove it. And basically, once removed, I'm gonna shove my copper pipe down in the bottom of the tank start my fuel transfer pump and pump all that stuff out. All right, that's the gist of it. That's how it goes.